So here is Riot at the American Inventing Championships, and we are heading out on the intermediate course, and you see he is uh, pretty ready to go. Now it's interesting because I had already been out on course on Sharpie, so he is my second ride. So uh, that gave me a little bit of information. So coming to this first combination on Sharpie, I did it in a really easy eight stride and because Riot was bigger, I decided I would kind of let him coast on down into the seven. So coming to this, I get a good shot in and then I push and then I'm like, oh no, we're a little long. <laughs> and he was a really good boy to hold that line there. Uh, at that corner. So you see I give him a little pat. Uh, and then coming around this turn here, I had to be a little careful. It was a little boggy in that turn uh, coming to this table. And then also because we were so close to the barns, uh, he's not too bad about it. But um, Sharpie was a little bit like, hey, the barns are over that way. Uh, and it was a little tricky to navigating a little bit of the people and where the course was and where it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, you can see there that was kind of an awkward ginormous balloon jump um, coming to that trichaner. Those type fences you really want to kind of find a nice gallop shot to but sometimes that happens and he handled that quite well. So now coming to this first water combination I'm going to want to set him up. And then we get a good shot in, balance here, get his eye on this three stride. I make sure my hands are nice and wide. And then he lines up, very good. And then I was uh, around the same minute markers as I had for Sharpie and I was a little slow. Time was pretty tough uh, to get on this course and it can be a little hard for Riot to make time sometimes because he is such a good jumper. So now we're heading to another big table. So we have a little bit of time here to open up and gallop. And then this is right before our next water complex. So I'm going to sit up with my body a little bit. See a big shot to that table, but he's a big scopey horse. But now I want to dial him back down so he can read this. I got in a little close, but I want to make sure I have power coming out. And again, for this angle two stride, he's a really good boy about holding his line. Um, as long as I'm not kind of fussing with him, sometimes I can tend to pick a little bit at him. Because uh, he is a big horse, and uh, yeah, he's a different ride than the thoroughbreds, that's for sure, because he has a lot of power. So galloped up that hill, now coming to the kind of this uh, blinded table, get a nice shot to that. And then again, we're going to do some navigation here. Uh, arguably, there are a couple of lines to kind of head down to the bottom. Uh, I think this was a big time suck because you're going downhill. Uh, and I'm always a little careful, obviously, galloping downhill. Uh, but all my horses handled this really well. And then my uh, thought was I'm going to do a nice square turn to this oxer so I can keep coming. And there I saw it. Jump that nicely out of stride. And now rebalance because now I have this bank complex to a corner. You see his ear flicking back at me. Get a nice jump in there. Nice and steady. Eight up that uh, four stride. I actually had lost my stirrup in there, so he was a good boy. Now, this part of the course is just a bit to slow us down because we have this uh, pimple fence, so you want to make sure. Uh, you get a good shot in, saw that really nicely, and then keep coming to this uh, ramp fence. Again, heading back downhill, always trying to stay in balance. And you jump that really good. So now coming to our final water. And this is a little bit more of a vertical, so I'm trying to get a shape. It's a good boy, jumps in. Locks right on to that narrow, no problem. Now, I know I'm behind on the clock, so you see I'm asking and he's telling me he's going. 
And uh, these tend to ride really nicely off the gallop stride. Jump that really, really well. And then after that pull, we come up that hill. And this is supposed to be a bending uh, five stride with uh, two narrow um, boxes. So I want to make sure I have them back. One, two, three, four, five. Did that really nicely. And he's a big dude again, so sometimes it feels like I'm riding a limousine. But he can be quite adjustable and quite quick. And now coming to this next gallop fence. Getting a little close to it. And uh, coming to this coffin, you know, I had ridden it prior with Sharpie, so I kind of know how it goes. And Sharpie just kind of found his way through. So come in, did the two. And I thought, oh, there goes a shoe. <laughs> as I saw it fly in the air. Luckily, we're nearly done with our course. So I let him roll up this hill. And still being mindful kind of where his energy, kind of where his air is at as well. He's starting to get a little tired. Um, you know, coming to Kentucky with the hills and we, we don't have the hills as much uh, in Florida, so uh, this was a good conditioning run for them. And now coming to the last fence. And he jumps out really good. So I was really pleased. We had some really nice jumps and he did his part uh, to help me out when I needed him and it was a really good round. He recovered fantastic as well and the next day jumped clean and we finished uh, 12th out of the whole division so really really oh. proud of him he was a good boy as fast as we could he just it's hard for him to make time because he jumps so high in the air I know. <laughs> he really stays up he there just stays there. there I'm like ah oh, we got to get to the ground bud we got to get faster good jumper and boy he was because there were a couple where I was like yeah there, there's, there we go. There's the long one. Where? Like the in the corner. Down there? Yeah. Yeah, I did that in seven. Yep. That was, um, yeah, that was a flyer. I know, I was like, oh no. But you know what? He made some really good decisions, so I, I was like, oh. If I don't see anything, you're fine. Just support him because he's going to make a smart decision. Yeah.